Hello everyone, it's your boy Minato here, and today we're going to be covering a topic that I feel like uh, kind of going over here. So this is obviously the Future Saga category. Now, um, Future Saga has been very odd. Uh, we haven't really gotten too many buffs or additions to this specific category in quite some time at this point. Um, I would say, if you really think about it, we got Boo Saga last year, we got some Android Cell Saga this year. We got, um, obviously Planet Dynamics Saga this year. We got Tournament of Power, Dragon Ball Super stuff, uh, GT this year as well. We got a bunch of the sagas getting really buffed, uh, the saga categories that we do have. Um, I'm not sure about Dragon Ball Saga, however. I don't know if Dragon Ball Saga really got too many buffs from this year specifically. I would believe so, like, in the World Tournament unit and stuff. There has been some Dragon Ball stuff kind of sprinkled in there and stuff. But one category we really haven't seen any buffs or getting recent buffs for this would be future saga um if you really do think about it like if you look down here the most recent future saga buff we've had uh from easy a specifically were this physical super trunks and str super trunks they did get easy a's during the str super vegeta celebration but with a new unit being released we actually did go on this year in this uh str super saiyan trunks Hybrid Saiyan support, so it doesn't really fit the Future Saga um, actual category that much. We got AGO Mai recently as well uh, during the STR Super Vegeta celebration. But before that, the only things we've been getting with like the last unit release for this category. Actually, technically it was this guy. But again, he's a Vegeta family unit. So it's like, eh, he did release on JP. He's not on Global yet. But like the last summonable unit, like LR or Dokkan Fest type unit we've got was this guy during the five year anniversary. Um, and again with Tech LR Vegito Blue as well, we got him as well during the 5 year anniversary. Since then there's like been no Dokkan Fest or any big major release for this category and it's been quite some time. Um, it's already September of 2021 and these guys came out in uh, February of 2020. So it's been well over a year at this point and I feel like there's a lot of things coming up and shaming up for this category that I feel warrant this category. I really do expect to see a lot of buffs. To this category in the near future not just from easy a's and stuff but from new units in general um the biggest reason why in my opinion is uh well there's two reasons i feel like that are pretty huge the big reason i'd say is this is a little speculatory but seventh anniversary um since the second anniversary we've been going back and forth between having a goku and vegeta then the gogeta and vegeta so year two Year 2 was the Super Saiyan 4 TURs, Year 3 was Gogeta, Super Gogeta and Super Vegito, Year 4 was again Super Saiyan 4s but LRs, then Year 5 was obviously the Blue Fusions, Year 6 uh, this year we got was UI Goku and Evolution Blue Vegeta. So based off of that pattern, I personally fully expect to see like a standalone Vegito Blue, Gogeta Blue, I don't expect Super Gogeta or Super Vegito since we got LRs of those units basically recently, though it is technically possible to get that. I think it's much more likely, given with all the movie buffs that we've been receiving recently, uh, we would see a standalone blue Gogeta with brand new animations from the Dragon Ball Super Broly movie possibly. And to pair alongside them, it would make most sense to have Vegito. Now another thing that kind of helps ties Vegito also being an anniversary unit is if you look at all the easy A's we're going to get for this category. There's going to be a lot of easy A's we're going to get very soon for this team. And Akatsuki loves having their themes for these celebrations. Especially when it comes to LR easy A's. Such as LR Maja Vegeta. He came out with an, a Super Vegeta celebration. A Vegeta celebration. Legendary Vegeta event. Stuff like that. Int Kid Gohan came out with the AGL. I mean Int Super Saiyan 2 Gohan came out with the AGL. Um... Super Saiyan, uh, no, the AGL Kid Gohan Dokkan Fest start release. You know, they're both gone. Cyber Saiyan buffs. Uh, Master Student of Bond type of things like that. Astaire LR Broly, he easy aid with Int LR Broly for Saiyan Day. Tech Goku Frieza, they easy aid during your Universe 7 celebration. So, LR easy aid, so, you know, even LR Bardock that we got recently, he easy aid with, uh, Platinamic Saga Frieza type celebration, which obviously makes the most sense here. Um, uh, all these LR Easy A's so far have been thematically tied to the celebration they release. And there's two big LR Easy A's that we're going to get this year, most likely. Tech, Goku Black, and Zamasu. They have to be upcoming on an Easy A. And again, physical LR Trunks. Two of the original five 
uh, LRs, we're going to get easy ace for them. 100%. Well, summonable LRs to be specific. So, because of that, there could easily be two Future Saga celebrations upcoming. Now, I have two big ideas for what we could see for the Future Saga celebration that I want to come ahead and kind of talk about. Well, there's kind of three big ideas. Um, first and foremost, I think something that we can see is a new Goku Black. I mean, if you look at Goku Blacks we have here, you know, obviously, Esther Rose, he'll get an easy, but he's very old, like... This guy sucks, to be honest. He, he, could, he can be used, but he's not really that great. Adriel Rosé is actually probably underrated, but he's not like, you know, like anything like super insane, super great, you know. He's just good. Um, and Ella Rosé def desperately needs a new partner to really shine, but as of this moment, and Ella Rosé is like stuck. He's like kind of frozen. He's almost, I would say, kind of irrelevant in the meta currently. Like, if we're talking about... Like, being meta-relevant, like, with all the Hybrid Saiyan buffs, this guy is probably more relevant than that Int Rose LR, for example, you know, stuff like that. Um, even Physical Vegeta Blue is probably more relevant right now to the meta. Although, I would say Int Rose could be a better unit than them, he just is not relevant because Future Saga sucks. You know, Goku Black and Zamasu units are aged out at this point. So, I think a new Goku Black unit obviously would sell very well as a Dokkan Fest. Uh, it's been a while since we got a Goku Black Dokkan Fest, which is the in Goku Black, and he released, what, back in 2018? So it has been uh, three years at this point, almost three years, November 2018, like almost three years since it's the end of September here, so we could definitely see a brand new Goku Black unit, you know, especially since we're going to get Heroes units soon, there's going to be a lot of Time Travelers type of uh, units released, so it would be perfect to make. It would make a lot of sense to release to Goku Black, especially if we see, like, that Heroes full power Super Saiyan Rose Goku Black. It would make a lot of sense, in my opinion. Um, what I would prefer to see is probably just a remake of this guy. Although, this guy can get an easy A. Probably won't be anytime soon, since it came out in 2018, like, at the very end of 2018. Uh, I don't think we would see really an easy A for this guy. Like, I would say it would be later rather than sooner, but you never know, again. They love going with their themes, but I would expect this guy to easy aid to like probably maybe end of 2022, 2023 even. Um, so that would be perfect just to release a new base form Goku Black, especially because, you know, we're probably going to get this guy's easy A sooner rather than later uh, compared to the actual this guy. Like this guy came out like a whole year before. So this guy's easy A is definitely upcoming um, sooner rather than later. I would be not surprised like if we get like a Goku Black like announce i don't know, like in the second or something and this guy's gonna easy in that celebration it would make the most sense to me so for all we know this guy could be easy in like two weeks <laughs> and then we just uh, don't know at this point it would be very exciting obviously but since he's just a super saiyan rose goku black and we already have a super saiyan lr rose goku black a new base form goku black would be the most sense to me so that's sense this guy's already easy in and he's old aged out at this point and global he's better but uh Still definitely aged out, even on the global version of the game. I would love just uh, to see this as an active skill. Like, I would probably prefer just, like, Angel going to Freezer or, like, something easy where you could instantly transform into Rosé. Um, this guy's transformation sequence, it's fine. It doesn't really look like, like new nowadays transformation sequences, you know. They could definitely make this guy's transformation look way better than we do have it currently in-game. So, this would be amazing. This guy has amazing links. Just, Goku Black is dead right now in the game, unfortunately, I would say. Um, so, you know, having a turn one transform Goku Black with the active skill. Again, maybe make this guy like a stacking unit. Um, maybe give him like something like maybe a better support than when he goes to Rose. Maybe in Rose he gets a lot more power, but he only gives a key. Something like that could be very interesting. Maybe make this guy stacker. And then make this guy like crit on a super attack instead or something. Very interesting. Like, I mean, this guy right here, he has crit in his um passive skill. So they could just add it to a super attack and give him a lot more. Um, in terms of a new rose, of course. And he would work obviously really well with this rose. Again, this guy could get an easy aim and become very good. He would work well with Estrella Rose, because he'd be able to transform and link very well to all the roses. Even before transformation, he would work very well with all of them. So I would love to see a new Rose Goku Black. Um, along with that, new Future Trunks. Like, it's just a new Future Trunks Dokkan Fest. I think this guy is way better animations than, like, you know, the Rosés, for example. But, I mean, um, we can still definitely get, like, new transformation sequences of stuff. Maybe it's just 
maybe it's just like a Super Saiyan Trunks feature unit, you know? Um, like a Super Saiyan Trunks future Dokkan Fest. Maybe they finally add, like, Rage to his name. Or, you know, like, so that... Because we don't have, like... In game, they're just called Super Saiyan Trunks feature. I mean, maybe it could be Super Saiyan 2 Trunks feature, too. Um, but we don't have, like, this form as a separate name. Like, he's not, like, called Super Saiyan Rage Trunks. So they could definitely add that name to him. Just like, you know, how they added Kyle Ken to the STR Blue Kyle Ken Goku name. At this point, I feel like they don't really care. But with the same name update, it doesn't necessarily matter either again. Because uh, you could run units with the same name on there. Even if, especially if they do transform... At that point, it definitely doesn't matter because once they transform, they will link with same name units, anyways. Um, so that will remove the linking problem. And outside of that, I think we can maybe see a new future Gohan. Um, this guy probably won't easy aid that really anytime soon either. Same with the you know in LR Rose, but maybe this guy can easy aid. He'd be pretty good if he does get an easy aid. Uh, they just need to fix this. The issue is. Uh, well, this is fine, but they, they need to fix this right here. And if he's still, like, greatly stacking attack and defense, what if he does that? And he could be really good. So, there's definitely a lot of units that we could use here that need to get redone. I don't think Mai needs any more units. This AGO Mai is pretty good, honestly. Um, We can get a new Super Saiyan Blue Goku. We can get a new Super Saiyan Blue Vegeta from this arc. Maybe, like, just this guy. Like, this Blue Vegeta. Maybe he gets a Dokkan Fest. And we just get him with brand new animations from exactly this, like... This exact blue Vegeta, just a brand new version of him. He's on a lot of teams, um, although we don't necessarily need a new blue Vegeta. Well, I would say blue Vegeta. Maybe we can get in, like a new Super Saiyan blue Vegeta. Because if we look here, I mean, this guy can get an easy A possibly. This guy's probably the best blue Vegeta we have currently. So on a brand new Dokkan Fest Super Saiyan blue Vegeta, either from this fight or Resurrection F, would be pretty cool, honestly. And you know, he would help the team out a lot. Um, a blue Goku. Blue Goku isn't really, like, as relevant, but maybe he could be, like, a banner unit. I could definitely, like, a blue Goku from this arc would be a perfect banner unit. He has an amazing link set. Breath Battle, say, Lineage, coming off first battle. Like, this is a very, very strong link set. He's not a couple of teams. He would help on, like, Attain Evolution, for example. Maybe he could be, like, a Turtle School buff, too. Like, a support type for Turtle School. Um, he could be very good. But, yeah, I mean... Outside of that, you know, Tech Vegeta Blue is going to get an easy A soon. There's, like, a lot of key factors. We definitely need a new Merge Zamasu as well. Like, just a new Fusion Zamasu, even if it's... Specifically, I would say... Like, since we have that Tech Merge Zamasu, like, a version of... Where is he? Is he an SR? This guy. Like, where he has the Halo. Um, that'd be pretty cool. Like, the guy that fights, um, Gallic Gun, Vegeta, and Trunks, you know, when they use the, uh, Father Son Gallic Gun as well. Um, and along with that, we could just use a new Merge Zamasu as well. We could use a new Normal Zamasu, to be honest. Um, a new Normal Zamasu would be very good, because, like, this guy, maybe he'll hook an easy, but not really, because... Maybe he can get an easy, though, because he's easy with AJL Rose, and they could just bring him back and easy him. He'll be pretty good, honestly. Um... This guy's aged out at this point, obviously, and outside of that, like, Ajo's Amasu, he's, like, solid, but the units with just this, uh, like, the 40% damage reduction without defense start of turn it does not really that great anymore, especially nowadays. Um, they kind of shied away from doing units like that again, thank god, except for Tech Boo. Very unfortunate for Tech Boo <laughs> is what I would say there. Um, but yeah, I mean, that's basically it there. I think definitely this guy needs an LR. Um, something else I didn't really bring up right here. So I brought up some other uh, things. Kakarot Trunks, uh, where he goes Super Saiyan 2 in the future. Doesn't necessarily have to be from Kakarot, because this is actually canon, uh, at least for the Super Manga. And even in the anime, we saw him fight Dabura. So we can easily see a Dokkan Fest based off of this moment. Even if it is a Dok uh, Kakarot collab, that would make a lot of sense with the releasing on the Switch recently and releasing that DLC. For all we know, it could be, we could see Kakra at um, Dokkan Fest, and then they could take that opportunity to awaken this guy. Uh, he's on the Future Saga category, but maybe they could put him on there and say he's from Kakra, you know? Post Dokkan Awakening anyways. This guy's, I think now he's the oldest unit without a Dokkan Awakening, so he desperately needs to get one. I mean, they brought back that STR Super Saiyan Goku. Uh, that was left off banners for years, and they actually went ahead to awaken him this celebration. So, I could definitely see this guy, you know, get an awakening with the Future Saga celebration. 
Uh, this is the Galaga and Vegeta and Trunks I was talking about. And we can see like an LR of this, like a future Gohan and Trunks. Maybe a future Gohan that exchanges into Trunks would be pretty cool as an LR. Um, future Gohan could definitely use some better animations. Like this in Future Gohan is good. But we don't really have like a future Gohan with animations from like when it's like, you know, like a dark rainy background from when he's fighting the androids together. We could definitely, there's definitely animations they could take from that. Though he's kind of like that, but the backgrounds are like white and pure. And I would, it would be cool to see like an LR kind of shading on that, uh, on that moment when he's fighting the future androids as well. Maybe he could be armless. Maybe, because Legends has an armless Future Gohan. Maybe this would be the Future Gohan we get that's armless. It would be pretty damn cool, honestly. Um, and, you know, Future Trunks, like, we could definitely get a Future Trunks from when he fought the Anders before we went back to the future. Uh, he fights them for a little in the TV special. But, yeah. Uh, another thing we can get, possibly, is I don't think he'll... He, he might. He could possibly end up on the category. Uh, Hakai Beers. So we don't have a Hakai Beers in the game. So like, let me let me see if I could bring up a Hakai Beers on the side here. Uh, but Hakai Beers, I don't know if he'd end up on Future Saga because he technically doesn't go to the future. Just like how Sal's not on Future Saga, even though he went to the future. Um, but I mean, we were we were shown in the legendary election. We would get an LR Hakai Beers from this exact moment right here. So I mean, what if we get like a Future Trunks Dokkan Fest or something, or like is it like a Goku Black Dokkan Fest or something, and we get like a Part Two LR uh, Beers that does the Hakai. That would be pretty damn cool, honestly, in my opinion. I would love to see that. And again, he does fit the, technically the Future Saga theme. He's just not on the category because we don't really know if he would be on the category. I would say they could definitely slide him on there. Because, like, for example, um, Gowasu and Zamasu, they, this, the Masu and Gowasu, they did not, like, technically they time travel, but they're not, like, in the future timeline, like, where all the Trunks are and stuff like that. So they could be in the future saga, since they're, well, since they are on the future saga, we could see this beer is beyond future saga, especially since he fights that exact Zamasu, actually, now that I think about it. Beer should be on the Future Saga. If he's not, that would be kind of stupid, to be honest. <laughs> just like how Cell should be on the category. Just like for the same reason Trunks is on the category. At least the Z Trunks. But that's a whole other topic. Um, but yeah, my predictions for Year 7 will be a Vegeta Blue. With Part 2 LR Merge Zamasu. And then like a Gogeta Blue and Part 2 um, Dragon Ball Super Broly. But that's more obvious because we've been getting a lot of movie stuff. But I would say, personally, I really do expect a lot of um future saga stuff to be coming soon especially with all these LREs. He's like this guy is gonna get an easy sooner rather than later too like he's up next in line he's the next prime battle like oh uh or the uh, uh, i forgot the lr androids aren't on here that's so stupid but yeah i mean they're up for an easy too technically like they're they're obviously the future androids but for some reason they're gonna add future to the names so it's very weird but that's all I could say. I mean, this category could erupt in the next few months and become really good. So, stay tuned for that. Thank you all for watching until the end. Let me know what you guys think should become um, over the next few months for Future Saga at the very least. And thank you all for watching. A uh, very long video, actually. Around almost 20 minutes now. There's so much to talk about. I love Dokkan, dude. <laughs> I'll see you all later.